Thank you for tuning in. Today's devotion is for May 25th. The scripture says, Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes we are healed. 1 Peter 2.24 the one thing essential for us in order that we may receive and impart the forgiven love of God is to know and believe the love that he has to us. Satan is working by every deception he can command in order that we may not discern that love. He, Satan, will lead us to think that our mistakes and transgressions have been so grievous that the Lord will not have respect unto our prayers and will not bless and save us. In ourselves, we can see nothing but weakness, nothing to recommend us to God, and Satan tells us that it is of no use. We cannot remedy our defects of character. When we try to come to God, the enemy will whisper, It is of no use for you to pray. Did not you do that evil thing? Have you not sinned against God and violated your own conscience? But we may tell the enemy that the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. When we feel that we have sinned and cannot pray, it is then the time to pray. Ashamed we may be and deeply humbled, but we must pray and believe. Forgiveness, reconciliation with God comes to us not as a reward for our works. It is not bestowed because of the merit of sinful men, but it is a gift unto us having in the spotless righteousness of Christ its foundation for bestowal. We should not try to lessen our guilt by excusing sin. We must accept God's estimate of sin, and that is heavy indeed. Calvary alone can reveal the terrible enormity of sin. If we had to bear our own guilt, it would crush us. But the sinless one has taken our place. Though undeserving, he has borne our iniquity. Let us pray. Most gracious and loving Father, you are such an awesome and loving God. Thank you for blessing us with another day. Thank you for giving us forgiveness of our sins and our shortcomings. Thank you so much for the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross. And we thank you for your Holy Spirit. Please cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Help us to know that we can always come to you. No matter what the sin is, no matter what we may have thought or done or whatever, once we realize that we have done something not pleasing in your sight, help us to fall at the foot of the cross and seek forgiveness, knowing that once we are sincere in our prayer, you will forgive us. And we need to just get up and walk again closer to you, studying your word, praying, and seeking your guidance always. Forgive us of our sins once again, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.